Uh, thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you, honey. So, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Oh, what would you like to know? There's not too much to know about me. Are you married? Uh, unfortunately, no, I'm not married. I'd like to be one day. Maybe it's the right man. You know, who can provide? So, are you looking for a husband? Oh, girl, a girl is always looking. Do you have a boyfriend now? I wouldn't say I have um, one particular beau, but maybe a few who seem real nice. What do you look for in a man? Well, like I said, number one thing is he's got to provide. Um, he's got to be very handsome. He's uh, got to be sweet and tender. Describe handsome. Like, uh, does he have to be tall? I like tall. I like tall men, um, dark hair, light eyes, obviously trimmed nice. Um, nice suit, maybe. A nice car. Nice, yeah, car. nice car. Does that does a nice car indicate that he's employed or not? Like he has a job? Hopefully. The nicer the car, the better the job, the better the money, the better the dresses. Ah, right? Yeah, that's right. true. Uh, and what's your day job? Oh, I'm a dancer. Oh, you're a dancer. Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of dancer? A uh, burlesque. Burlesque, okay. And, uh, well, you know, burlesque dancing is been, historically has been considered an art form. So it is an art. It's difficult. Not everyone can do what I do. What's uh, part of your routine? Do you use feathers or do you use Oh, I got it all, balloons? honey. I got it all. I used to have four feather boas, but then my assistant ruined one. I was so mad. And then my son and I have three. There's a red one, there's a white one, and there's a blue one. And they all match with my different outfits. And I have different songs that go along with everything. Obviously, I fix my cosmetics and do my makeup properly. I have to pick a new song every week because, you know, the regulars get bored. Right. Mm -hmm. And what about your choreography? Oh, I'll make that up myself. Oh. Yeah. Impressive. Of course. Do you consider yourself very flexible? Um, I think I'm pretty flexible, more than most. Yeah. More than most. But it's not about flexibility, it's about the skin. And so you, I take it you have nice skin? Oh, I take the best care of my skin. And what do you do to keep good care of your skin? Oh, what, I make sure... What's your process? I make sure to wash it every night. I do, you can see the full face makeup, but it's got to come off because then you end up with blemishes. Oh. I make sure to stay out of the sun. You don't want to end up too rosy unless you put rouge on yourself. It's got to be perfectly placed every night. Uh, are you closer to your mama or your daddy? I haven't seen my mama or my daddy in years. <laughs> so, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Do you have... What's your worst childhood memory? <laughs> oh, that's not for ladies to talk about. Okay. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Um, the first time I learned how to put on cosmetics. Oh, it was the prettiest little thing you ever seen. Um, but then I got a little bit older, and when I really mastered it, that's when I got my nickname, Mademoiselle. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to go by Trixie Delight. Oh, yeah. Well, Mademoiselle is much classier, I think, than I Trixie think Delight. So. Yeah. And um, do you feel that you have an effect on men? Do you feel that, I mean, do you have, you said you had a lot of bows. Sure, of course I do. How do you think I got here? I started in Kalamazoo, and then we worked our way over to this other part of um, Kansas. And then um, I was down in the south a little bit longer. I was in New York for just a minute with this French man. He's from Europe. But then um, I ended up having to hitch a ride back down here. Oh, uh, and why did it not work out in New York? Oh, you know, just things happen. Has anyone ever tried to take advantage of you? Oh, well, people always like to take advantage of me. Look how pretty I am and all my jewels. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a piece of this? Uh, indeed. Uh, do you think of yourself as being a good person? I am the best person. 
So you're kind in your actions and deeds? I am the nicest, of course. Uh, do you believe in God? Of course I do. I am a Christian woman. And so you go to church on Sunday? Well, I, you know, there isn't a church close by, so sometimes when I can, when I'm in the right city, um, they don't always accept our kind here. Not all the ladies are, are welcome at oh, church. Oh, yes, they can be somewhat prejudiced against a lady of your artistic uh, profession. They just don't understand. Yeah. They're afraid you're probably going to steal the husbands, right? I wouldn't steal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything that makes you sad? Um, it makes me sad when... Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that makes you angry? When my assistant ruins my bow of feathers, yeah, that makes me real angry. You just gotta, I mean, I could have killed her. You gotta slap her around a little bit, teach her a lesson, but um, outside of that, just when my things are touched. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, your possessions, if they're touched or uh, damaged in some way. Yes. Okay. And is there anything that you fear? Maybe old age. Mm. I don't want any wrinkles. And do you do anything in order not to have wrinkles? I mean, do you do the Botox or do you do the Juvederm? I don't know what Botox or Juvederm is, but um, I just make sure, like I said, to take good care of my skin, to eat right. Um, no sun. Go no sun. sun. You got to put your oils on and um, get a good night's rest. That's what I see works the best. And when you die, how do you want to be remembered? Trixie Delight, quote, Mademoiselle, unquote, prettiest woman there ever was. One more question. As, do you think you'll ever have children? Would you ever like to be a mom? Uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not around babies much, so I don't know if I have the maternal instinct. Okay. Well, thank you for your candor, your honesty, and uh, for visiting with us today. Oh, honey, you're so welcome. Thank you.